Howdy, this is VDK here. Um, yes, I'm wearing the same outfit I've been wearing for the last few videos. Get used to it. We're filming a bunch of videos in one go, so hope you like this outfit. Um, today I wanted to just talk about the tournament, me and Devin and a few others from the shop we like went to at TC Rockets. Long story short, it was a poop show. For sure, hands down. Um, one of my worst experiences ever playing this game and deeply made me reconsider my loyalty to this game and to Wizards of the Coast as a customer. But after all the doom and gloom has kind of faded, um, it was a very, it was very much a learning, um, a learning, uh, lesson plan, I guess, learning moment, teaching moment, whatever that phrase is in that. It definitely changed the way I view CDH as a whole structure and format. And while I'm deeply reconsidering my, like, love of the format, I do think there are some things that need to be said, and this is my official talking about what I'm going to refer as Tunnel Rats, and this isn't a slur, this isn't a name, this isn't, like, one of your deck profiles or anything, this is just me, like, ranting a little bit. Okay. So... My first uh, CDH game, I was, or search first tournament at TC Rockets, I didn't know enough about how it went, so I just figured that moving forward, I needed to make my deck more consistent and faster, and be able to win at a much greater pace than the other decks. So I built Henry um, Wu, as he, he became a godsend. In getting into the game of CDH at the second time around and seeing a lot more, I began to notice some things that were really interesting. Um, in terms of, there's not a lot of discipline in terms of players at that power level, which is surprising because they're all like playing to win, but they don't win with discipline or focus. Here's what I mean by that. One of the games I played, the first game I played in, one of the guys who was a breach deck wheeled after a turn two win temp. He got countered. The next guy, I, I I took my turn after the guy got countered who was trying to win. And then the guy after me we, was wheeled into a Seedborn Muse, like four rocks and Dwarf Invention, and he was a Kinnon player. I don't need to tell you all who play this game how that goes. And so I asked the wheel player, why did he wheel if he couldn't guarantee the win off of the wheel in the first place, because it literally essentially wheeled the other two players into their win cons or let them have their win cons up and ready. And he didn't have answers. And he was like, well, my deck relies on wheels because it's a breach deck. And I'm like, I get that. But at the same time, it's like, why don't you just run wheels that only target you like wheel and deal and stuff like that. And he didn't really have an answer for me, except those cards are bad. And I'm going to assume he meant they don't require, they don't add mana value or they take a hit on his tempo. Now, as someone who's played a lot of games, I mean a lot of games, that strikes me as odd because sometimes you kind of have to take the hit on tempo to secure the win. And so it's interesting to see that CDH players are so focused on maintaining efficiency and lower curves that they will just absolutely biff and punt wins and just lose. Which is funny because had he taken his time and actively played at not necessarily an intelligent level, but like a more consistently like thinking level, he probably could have salvaged a win or at least a draw. And so the mindset being we win as fast as possible, as efficiently as possible, probably needs to not necessarily disappear, but definitely be reconsidered at this power level because it's just going to make games super swingy where it's like the person who always gets their mana crypt or like their Ristic study turn one will always win, but that's not going to be always the same person. So you don't really know who's the better player. It's just my deck performed better that day than yours did because we don't have an actual like real good tool of measuring be instead of just, oh, I sculpted the perfect tan and then like just mulligans becoming so important and stuff like that, um, which requires skill. But it's also so luck based that you can't really say, oh, I'm a better player than that player because it's such luck based. You can't say I'm a better deck builder than that other player because, again, 
if it's just literally oh off the first seven or four off the off the first three to seven that determines the win and you have no choice in the matter as no interaction as the other player or you have but like you use it and it didn't matter then it doesn't matter that game is essentially just that person won because they got lucky um and not necessarily they had a better they were better at the game than you were and so that's gonna be my full that's my full lesson from this is that um mid-range or something like that something that it not necessarily slows the game down but makes people um focus in terms of actually using their resources correctly needs to take root in cdh for the format to not stagnate anymore because it's definitely starting to stagnate from what i've seen because it's just all the same cards it's all the same win lines it's all the same plays so that's my take um you're free to disagree with me but please just don't for the love of god be a tunnel rat this has been vdk and um have a good night y'all